In this video, we will discuss about some testing of cement. Testing of cement is carried out to analyze the presence of desirable properties in it. Testing of cement have been categorized into laboratory testing and field testing. The field test includes 1. Color test 2. Physical property test 3. Strength test The laboratory testing includes 1. Fineness test 2. Standard consistency test 3. Setting time test 4. Soundness test 5. Strength test Let's discuss the field testing of the cement. 1. The color tests Cement should possess uniform gray color. Physical properties test. The cement should feel smooth when rubbed in between finger. When cement should sink in the water shall not float over the surface. Sample should be free from any lumps that form due to the absorption of moisture. The strength test on cement prepare a block of cement to be tested of size 25 mm cross 25 mm cross 200 mm. Immerse the block of cement in water for seven days. Subject the block to the point load of 340 Newton by placing it over a support of 150 mm apart. The sample should show no sign of failure under the application of load. Now let's discuss the lab test of the cement. This includes the finest test. The test is used to check the proper grinding which has direct impact on rate of hydration, rate of gain of strength and evolution of heat. Sieve test take 100 gram of cement and place it on sieve 9 perform sieving for 15 minutes. The final results demonstrate that the weight of the residue should not exceed 10% of original weight of ordinary Portland cement. The second laboratory test is the air permeability test. Blaine's air permeability apparatus is used based on the relationship between flow for air through cement bed and the surface area of cement particle forming the bed. For ordinary Portland cement, specific surface area not be less than 2250 square centimeter per gram. Let's discuss about the standard consistency test of the cement. Standard consistency should be known before we know about soundness. Standard consistency permits penetration of Vicat plunger of size 10 mm di and 50 mm height up to a depth of 33 to 35 mm from top into the mold. We find the water content at which the cement consistency is produced. Take 500 gm of cement and add 23% of water by weight of cement in first trial. Lower the plunger gently up to surface of mold and release quickly. The moisture content at which this cement paste of standard consistency is produced is termed as consistency P. Now let's talk about the setting time test on the cement. The test is carried out to know whether cement is deteriorated due to the storage. Two setting time are associated with the setting of cement. 1. Initial setting time. 2. Final setting time. Initial setting time is the time which is being measured from the instant water is added to the cement up to the time cement start losing its plasticity. Take 500 gram of cement and gauge it with water having measured 0.85 times consistency. Lower the square needle gently and release it quickly. Note time required by needle to penetrate 33-35 millimeters from top. This time is called initial setting time. For ordinary Portland cement, initial setting time is 30 minutes. The final setting time time which is being measured from the instant water is added to cement up to the time cement completely loses its plasticity and attains sufficient firmness. Take 500 gram cement and gauge it with 0.85 times consistency. Lower the annular collar with needle gently and release it quickly. Final setting time is the time when annular collar fails to make an impression over the mold but needle does show. For ordinary Portland cement, Final setting time is 10 hours. Let's discuss about the soundness test of the cement. The soundness test is important that cement after setting does not show any appreciable change in volume as it seriously affects the durability of the structure. Soundness of cement is due to lime, magnesia and sulfur. Gauge 100 gm cement with 0.78 times consistency and fill the paste in mode. Cover top and bottom with glass plates and immerse entire assembly in water having temperature 27 to 32 degrees centigrade for 24 hours. Remove mold and note the displacement of split with help of indicator arms. Then again we immerse entire assembly, increase temperature in 25 to 30 minutes up to boiling point and maintain it for next 3 hours. Note the displacement of split with the help of indicator arms. The difference in reading in both the parts of test should not exceed 10 millimeters for ordinary Portland cement. 